So here we are in Miharu Fukushima. That behind me is a over 1,000 year old cherry blossom tree named Miharu Takizakura. Looks like a waterfall, it's absolutely stunning. People are celebrating spring on the riverbanks in the countryside to the city parks between March and April. It is an absolute paradise. But this town in particular is famous for just one tree right there. And in this episode, we'll explore what makes this tree so special and considered the most beautiful tree in Japan. This is the story of the Miharu Takizakura. Only in Japan. In the town of Miharu, there is a tree unlike any other. It stands alone, spread wide, surrounded by green grass and yellow flowers. It's special, over 1,000 years old, a designated national treasure of Japan. What makes it the world's most beautiful is how it changes. In winter, it's bare or covered in snow. In summer, it's green, and autumn turns red and yellow. But in spring, it's pink, days before full bloom, stunning in the morning light. It looks like a dream. This tree is an icon of the town and Japan itself. It's imperfectly perfect, oval-shaped, leaning off a hill, easily seen by everyone. When it's almost fully bloomed, the pink young blossoms grow into a mature white and it changes again, looking majestic like every branch wears freshly fallen snow. Three hundred thousand people come annually to visit. It changes as you walk every angle around the hill, the tree showing a new face. A path around it offers a peaceful stroll. It feels like the heart of the town. I spoke with Shoichi Ishiguro, chairman of the Takizakura Preservation Society, to understand its background and what this tree means to the town. あのですね、まあ昔からこうあの江戸時代も含めてまあ藩主の方とかがこう来てみたりまあしてやるんですよ。まあ今な今はあのこの桜は町で管理はしてるんですが、まあ地元の私あのいる私たちが結局桜を買
the clouds came in. The white sky with white blossoms changed the mood a bit. It's best to come a few days before full bloom. In Japan, there are three great trees. The Yamataka Jindai Zakura in Yamanashi Prefecture is said to be over 3,000 years old. The Niodani Usuzumi Zakura in Gifu Prefecture, which is said to be over 1,500 years old. All different varieties of cherry blossoms, but I really do think the Miharu Taki Sakura is the most beautiful in Japan and perhaps in the world. All this Sakura viewing makes one hungry. Let's go get some festival street food. The area has been beautifully renovated over the years and added in shops and spots for food stalls during the two to three weeks of spring blooming. Karage deep fried chicken, nama biru, Koroke and all sorts of Hanami festival foods can be found at the entrance. This is Sankaku Abarage, triangular deep fried tofu with miso, a Miharu specialty. Grilled mochi is also really good. Custard taiyaki and cakes are popular. Japanese sake stands to try the local offerings. Sakura flavored goodies like this cream and custard cup. Sakura daifuku is one of my favorites. It has a pickled sakura blossom on top. It has a chewy mochi outside, uncle red bean paste inside, a real taste of springtime. Sakura blossoms are infused in a lot of confections like sweet white bean making it pink. Teriyaki burger, waffle sandwich. Here they're making homemade donuts. Sakura flavored ice cream is delicious. This soft served cone was $3 and really hit the spot after a long day of walking around the town. This Fukushima specialty is yubeishi, walnut mochi with a hint of sweet soy sauce that could have infused uncle bean paste inside. It's famous especially in the Aizu region of Fukushima. I asked Ishiguro-san what he hoped visitors like me felt when visiting the tree for the first time. The tree takes on another look at 6 p.m. when the town lights it up. People take notice, all eyes on the brightening white blossoms. As the sun sinks beyond the horizon, the dark sky makes the tree even more beautiful. Usually around Japan, parks have several hundred trees to bring people together, but here it's just one, the king or queen of them all. In a few days, the blossoms will fall to the ground like snow and the tree will change again, powering up for the next of its over 1,000 springs in its lifetime. I love that they do this two weeks out of the year. They light up the tree, give it a lot of respect, creating a festival around just one tree.
When it's lit up like this, it looks so different than in the daytime, almost like it has snowed with that dark blue, black sky in the background. Another wonderful spring day in Japan, and what I consider the most beautiful tree in the world. What do you think? Is this the most beautiful tree in the world? Leave me a comment below. If you liked it, hit that subscribe button and join me on another adventure as I take you to every single corner of this amazing country. Mata ne.